Greetings and welcome to the Friday Morning Nameless. I'm Chad the Alcoholic. And um, I wanted to play the Grope the Elephant game, or the Blind Elephant game um, that uh, Grim Grizz has out right now. Um, addressing the the various Sedly, seven deadly sins or as we're kind of calling it eating the lion and breaking the lion down into seven different smaller lions and lions so it's let's say finding the the teeth to eat the lion or a blind lion game I don't know something like that so I I'm uploading the, the Envy one right now. And um, in thinking about the next two right now, because there wasn't really one that was decided, so I'm going to nail two of them, which is Wrath and Sloth, both of which I'm well acquainted with. And um, I have to constantly try to... Uh, Surrender. Maybe that's a good one. Maybe that's a good way, good way of looking at it. Because, you know, like... I know St. Paul talks about self-control as being a, like a particular kind of virtue. And I just don't have good self-control. And I have a lifetime of, of uh, being a reac reactionary. So yesterday I... I um, I was being eaten by the Lion of Wrath. <laughs> and, and often I'm being eaten by the Lion of many different, uh, many different Lions at any given point. So... Maybe, uh, these, I think these two are interestingly tied together, actually, Wrath and Sloth. Because I don't think that this is a compartmentalized problem, for, at least not for myself. All of these things, like the dream catcher of Optimal Grip, you start pulling on one of these, and it makes the whole thing shift. Um, and so, Sloth is a big big issue for me um i mean we can go right down to i mean if you look at my work vehicle here it's it's not very clean uh and there's a type of arrogance that goes along with that and uh uh like and that arrogance is something like it'll get cleaned later it's not that big of a deal nobody else looks at it uh i have bigger fish to fry all these different justifications which are all tied to sloth and what happens is is I think the longer you, you sleep in the den of sloth or or perhaps are asleep at the wheel let's say um, self self loathing can creep in and it also it just starts to affect all all of the relationships that you have or that I have <clears throat> and so then not only am I sl have sloth in the physical realm but I begin to have sloth in the spiritual realm or in the realm of relationships and um and it's like walking on Legos, you know? And that's a sloth prob problem. You only walk on Legos when your room is full of Legos. And you should have cleaned them up, but you thought, 
somebody else will do it or it'll get done tomorrow or it's not that big of a deal and next thing you know like you have something going on and you need to get through the room quick and you're walking and you don't pay attention because you haven't cleaned your room and you're stepping on legos and uh voila so what you notice is you're in your room and you have a friend over and you guys are playing <coughs> <clears throat> and and your friend picks up a toy across the room and starts playing with, with that toy. And it's a toy that you cherish. Or let's say it's uh maybe it's uh maybe it was a gift that was given to you and it's one that you have great adoration for and you you care much for it and he starts taking this toy and picking it up and oh, what is this this isn't and he seems it looks like he's being careless with the toy or with the gift and you and you become fearful and protective of it even though it's impossible for this person to break this toy or this gift. But the delusion is, is he's going to break it. He's going to warp it. And then he's going to, or he's going to tell other people about this toy. And it's going to give this particular gift or toy a bad name. Or you are, yourself are going to look bad in light of what your friend says about, about the gift. And then so what happens is, is you rush across the room to, to rip the gift from the hand of your friend while stepping on Legos as you make the approach and you become wrathful and careless and foolish. And so what is the antidote? Well... Daily maintenance and growth. Now, a lot of people have talked about gratitude. And honestly, I think like the antidote or the opposite of all these different seven lions or seven sins can all be the same, but it's always the same thing. It's, it's repentance, forgiveness, um, thoughtfulness, understanding, and gratitude now gratitude is an interesting one because when you hear it you just think oh that's something that you feel you feel grateful for the life that you have but as we learned from jordan peterson what you say you believe isn't probably anything at all but what you do is what you believe and so gratitude is much in the same as well as as agape and all that stuff it's, it's not what you think or what you say, it's what you do. And so, in order to be grateful, you should find a way to walk those out in your life in a very practical way. So, yeah, so that's my, uh, my little spiel on envy sloth and wrath and it probably covers all of them to be honest so this will be my uh, answer for all of the for eating the entire lion and um, remember these things are never very straightforward you're always going to run into obstacles while 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 trying to eat the lion, it's it's a it's a crazy thing because it's you're not eating the lion necessarily. You're letting your father feed it to you, and I think that's how it works. 
All right. Peace.